Hello ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube model car building community. I'm finally doing it. I'm actually entering this as my entry to the Chevy Cheeseburger March 2017 Street Stock Top 10. Now, before I go any further, I do want to let you guys know that please do not comment on this video until after judging. Again, I repeat, do not comment on this video until after judging. Um, not trying to be mean or anything like that, but that's part of the rules, and I just want to make sure to get a clean count. And uh, if you do watch my video and uh, and and uh, give points, uh, the lowest score can be one, the highest score can be twenty. And please be sure to judge all videos, not just mine, not just the couple, not just the ones you like, not just the ones you hate. <laughs> judge all videos. But with that being said, let's just get into this thing here. Okay, so this car is a 1980 Plymouth Volari. Uh, it's the MPC uh, Fuzz Duster uh, Roadrunner kit. Initially when I picked this kit up, I was going to make it into a junk car. But upon walking out of Hobby Lobby, I saw a 2013 Dodge Viper. And it just popped into my head, those wheels on a Velaria would be be pretty hot. And uh, so it was a 2013 Maestro Dodge Viper diecast kit. Now this car is plastic. This is an MPC kit. But I used the plastic parts from the, uh, the Maestro kit to enhance this beauty here. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at here, just give it a little spin around. Um, I made custom exhausts out of k &S tubing, which I'll uh, actually show a little later on. As I said, the wheels are from the Maestro uh, 2013 Dodge Viper. Um, when I first got them, they all four looked like this. They were all shallow. But then I asked a couple of friends on Facebook what they thought of Deep Dish. And this is what I came up with on a whim. I just decided to go ahead and cut those out. Which, uh, deep on all sides. As far as body work, uh, not the biggest on body work, I guess. I mean, the kit comes whereas you can make it a T-top, which I removed the top and added a little T in there. I uh, have yet to finish the actual removable tops to place them back in, but I kind of like it displayed as it is. I don't really want to put those back on. Uh, as far as the bumpers, again, I took a survey on Facebook and asked you guys on Facebook, would you prefer that I had the uh, chrome bumpers or body color bumpers? And body color bumpers won out. That's what I was thinking from the beginning. And uh, as far as the front bumper, this is actually the chrome bumper, but the kit comes with about two or three different options for the bumper. So I took the stock bumper, dechromed it, cut one of the custom bumpers in half, and mated them together using the five, five hour, five second bond. And I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's, I wouldn't think it would be any kind of show winner, but that's me criticizing my own work. Um, as far as the motor, This is the 6.4 supercharged Hemi from Clearly Scale. And I did use the Molotow chrome pen with the inlet pipe there. The interior I will show in a slide in slideshow after this uh, because I can get in through the window since it is a T-top, but. I don't want you to miss out on any of the details. Uh, what I can say through this shot here, if you can see it, hopefully, that steering wheel is out of the Snap Camaro concept kit. Uh, this kit also did not come with a gas pedal brake or emergency brake or anything like that. And with this having a six-speed transmission, I had to make a clutch, brake pedal, and uh, and a gas pedal. That's all scratch made. It's not any photo etch or anything. And I also installed my own gear shift knob there. 
And these are Recaro seats, or Recaro seats, out of another Maestro kit. It's plastic seats that I've dull coated. Out of the 2014, I believe, Mustang. As far as paint goes, I actually painted this car in three different stages. Um, was the first, actually, did all the body work and then primed and sanded everything, got everything smooth, got the bumpers the way I wanted them. And then the first color to go on was the top, the top color, the, uh, the black, which is uh, Krylon Fusion for plastic satin black. Then went ahead with the bottom color, which is dupli color, uh, charcoal gray, metallic charcoal gray. And then after that was painted, I brought it out, showed it to my wife, and showed her how, how proud I was of it. And then she said, it needs something a little more. <laughs> so I broke up the black and gray with the red stripe, which is duple color, tornado red. And the whole shebang is clear coated over with uh, duple color clear. And okay, and here you can see the underside the chassis for the uh, 1980 Plymouth Volari and it's just the, the kit chassis uh, only slight things uh, I did to make make the stance that I wanted and this kit actually came with single exhaust that tied into uh, I'm not sure if it's the side or the other side, I cut it off but actually I believe it was the side uh, single exhaust, I cut that off because who wants single exhaust with a you know 6.4 liter Hemi supercharged motor in here I don't want to have that through a single exhaust I don't think so this is all made from KNS tubing and bent with a brake uh, a brake uh, tube bender and as far as any modifications to the, f the frame I did kind of notch this area here to get that 6.4 to sit in here the right way and not stick out the hood too much. Also, uh, I kind of shaved a little bit into the um, the fender walls behind the fender walls of the chassis, and also shaved a little bit of thin the plastic out around the wheel wells on the body itself too. But uh, nothing really special here. It's just uh, basically it looks better from a. Uh, from the side. My thinking when I did this was just to get a, a one experiment with getting real exhaust and this was the car to, I would, chose to do it with. Alright, so I believe those are all the details that I have on this um, to provide to you. Uh, aside from the, the window, you might not be able to tell it's uh, been slightly tinted and that is fleece on the back. Back package tray. Black fleece. Aside from that, that should be all the details on this uh, on this build. Um, thank all you guys for looking at this and uh, all the compliments I've gotten on it. This actually, I started this in August of 2016, and would say I'm quote unquote finished with it in uh, probably early February 2017. But uh, this is my hat in the ring for the 2017, March 2017, I said 2017 already, the March 2017 Street Stock Top 10 for Chevy Cheeseburgers Top 10 list. So I'm just going to spin it around here and uh, I'm going to throw in some still pictures of the uh, for the interior, maybe a few other details, maybe even a voiceover on that. And, uh, thank you guys for looking and as I said, Please be sure not to comment on this video aside from a score of 1 to 20. Be sure and watch all videos and score all cars that are entered. And with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. Good luck to everyone who's entered into the Street, top, street Stock Top 10 for March 2017. Enjoy this little spin around and uh, enjoy the still pictures.